Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley where it's a lovely bright sunny day on Vatumnik's farm and as every day as we do every day let's have a look at the telly we have the fortune teller the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you Neutral spirits today. Okay, that's not so bad. And sunny day tomorrow. Huh. Now we've got some seeds here. Some lovely spring seeds. I think possibly need to be planted today. But I think first we will just water most of our stuff. The farm is getting a little bit bigger now. The watering will start taking a little bit longer. Which is why I want that watering can, damn it. Why does it keep being sunny every day? I might have to wait until like the 27th of spring. And then upgrade it. Ah, ready to harvest. Very nice. Oh, I have to use my scythe. Okay. I have one of those. Very handy. Those are easy to harvest. They're nice to harvest, actually. Yeah, I like that. Right. I can afford to do that today. So I actually have some energy now. Yay! And it looks like I have something in my mailbox. What that is. Dear Shelab, have you settled into your new life yet? I can't believe you're all grown up now. Time sure flies. Now that you're gone, I have all this extra money laying around, so I included a little gift. Love, Dad. Thanks, Dad. 500 gold? Very, very nice. I could definitely afford some more seeds. I have still got another eight days. I could probably get a few turnips during that time. And these spring seeds as well. Oh, good grief. The temptation is to plant all the crops. Plant everything. But you sort of leave yourself having to water it all then. Which doesn't leave much time for exploring and getting all the cool stuff that I've got. Now then. I need my hoe. Those can go in there. I don't think I need kale for that bundle, so I think I can sell the kale. And what I should probably do before I plant these seeds is um, maybe get a bit of fertilizer going. See, starting to take shape now. Starting to get the the vague shape of a, the plots of uh, farmland we're going to have. We're going to have six across and six down, I think, of these squares, and that will give us a lot of produce. I said I was going to make some fertiliser, didn't I? So let's do that before we start willy-nilly planting things. So, I need sap. I have loads of sap, actually. That wasn't what I wanted. I wanted my crafting menu. Right, there we are. So that's one. Two. I would say, yeah, we'll need 30. So 
we're gonna have These two plots of land with fertilizer on them and eventually hopefully we'll once we start pulling up vegetables from the other patches we'll basically not have to be planting anything without fertilizer that is the idea and fertilizer for those of you that maybe don't know will give you know the gold star um ah that's perfect yeah the, the gold starred um fruits and vegetables they basically come from you get more of them if you have fertilized the soil first there's a higher chance of getting them there we go planted. and fingers crossed that they will be all ready by the time the season ends which is not going to be too long very exciting Oh, and the bad news is we've got to water that lot. I know, it's not my fault it keeps me sunny every single day. I got my watering can upgraded. <sighs> That's quite cool, you can stand in the middle and just go around the outside. I don't have to even move. I'm loving having this red border around everything so I can see exactly where I'm aiming my watering can. It makes it so much quicker. Right, I think the next thing we need to do... Is I think it's Shane's birthday. I don't know what he would like for a present. I get the feeling it's I don't think necessarily nautical themed things. Maybe an earth crystal. We could maybe try and give him an earth crystal. I don't know if he'd like that. <laughs> He works at Jojo Mart. Who knows the minds of these people? I'm just going to check the calendar by the shop. And we'll see whose birthday, if it is Shane's birthday today. Because I think it might be, but it might be in a couple of days. No, it is. It's Shane's birthday today. And it being 2.10pm... Probably be at work. Hello, little Abigail, is it? Oh. She likes the fresh mountain air. Hi Shane, heard it was your birthday today, dude. Um, so I thought I'd give you a present. Oh, he kind of liked that. That was good. That was that was fine. A little gemstone for him. Morris is the one person that will not be getting a birthday present. Morris is a nasty piece of work. He charges me every time I faint. Horrible, horrible man. Now, what am I doing? So that's birthdays done, tick, ticked off the list. Um, don't think we've got any new quests at Pierre's. No. I did how to win. Oh, I gave a gift. Ha, ah, that was my quest. There we are. Jody's requested a cauliflower, so they haven't quite ripened yet. Go down to the mines to level 40 or build a chicken coop. Hmm. We should go and ask Robin how much a chicken coop is. Because 
because I want to know how soon I can get some chickens. Actually, you know, I never looked at the festivals either. Here, yeah, shop. I want to know when the next festival is so I don't miss it. Or miss some vital, crucial thing that I'm supposed to do for it. Right, here we go. Next one is 24th and it's the flower dance. So I should probably, like, collect a few flowers for that, maybe? Probably should have planted a few flowers for that. Maybe I could get away with, dan with like, daffodils and dandelions. Wildflowers are beautiful. Okay, off to Robin's house. Robin, how am I supposed to ask you about chicken coops? When you're stood. You just stood there. Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? I don't care, I want a chicken coop. Oh. Honestly, can't rely on anyone to do their jobs around here. Just standing out in the open. So I would give Linus a present, but I think he likes food presents better. I bet he would love like a home cooked meal if once I get a kitchen. Oh, worms. Now someone told me I have to go, poof. Oh, I found the lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Wow, I got a lost book. And now there's horse radishes everywhere. Now I don't need them anymore gold one as well. Good grief. Okay. Don't have much energy left. We've got a bit of energy left. We had a lot of watering and hoeing to do today. So I'm going to... What, we 7 o'clock in the evening as well. So we're getting on in the day. So I'm going to... Oh no, that's a rock in the way there. Do a bit more clearing out of my field. couple more of these trees gone. A little bit at a time and they will be gone in no time. I need to watch my energy though or I'll faint. There we go. Three more trees gone. My scythe. Get rid of all this. Probably get away with that. Maybe these. I don't think I'm going to get away with these tree stumps, so... Okay, time to do some shipping, I think. I don't need as many da um, daffodils. I keep calling them dandelions. I don't need as many daffodils as I have. And they can have that wild horse radish because it'll probably be worth a lot of money. Yay! Oh, I think there was a geode that came out of one of those rocks. Very nice. Now, I have been told by one of my subscribers that um, the fortune teller matters about when you go and break open geodes. So I need to wait for like a lucky fortune teller day and then go to the um, blacksmiths with my geodes and I'll get good stuff. Okay, so we'll go to sleep for the night. And as before, we're going to be doing two days per episode. 1,125 gold. 900 of it was from kale and 135 from foraging. Very nice. We are definitely, definitely getting there with things now. Four and a half thousand gold. 
We've got to have enough for a chicken coop, surely. Only one geode. I must have uh, taken my geodes quite recently then. Blacksmiths. Okay, what am I going to need today? Um, I don't know, because I don't know my fortune yet. Oh, Queen of Sauce. Tell me recipes! Queen of Sauce. Radish salad? Mmm. There's nothing like a fresh peppery radish, it reminds me of the late spring. My mother would slice up our fresh radishes and serve them on grainy bread with a little salt and pepper. Ah, those were the days but I digress. Now watch closely. You learned how to cook radish salad. I wonder what my re if I, my recipes are... Yeah, cooking. No, I have to actually make them, I think. Doesn't show me the recipes I know. That's fine, though. Oh, so much watering to do. Those cauliflowers are nearly ready, though. And then I can go take one to Jody. Okay. So if I stand here, do that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. wasn't too painful. Oh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, so I, I will not make, I promise you, I will not make farm any bigger than these six patches till I get this watering can upgrade. In fact I didn't check tomorrow's weather did I? I was too busy getting um, getting recipes and getting very excited that I could make radish salad. Okay let's go back in. Come on wet horrible disgusting rainy day. Ugh, beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits are very happy and they'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Right, that geode, you're coming with me. We are also going to go down the mines. Oh, you can go back. Rusty sword, you can go back. Side, you can go back. Yep, that is exactly what we are going to do today. We are going to go and get our geode cracked open. We're going to see how far down the mines we can get. And of course, now I put my hoe away, there's worms everywhere. Stupid worms. Hello, birdies. Ah, cool, this quest appears. Local wizard in search of a fresh, fresh green algae. Yeah, I think... That's okay. Oh yeah, I've done a couple of things for the wizard now. I wonder if I've gotten any, like... Increase in social with him. Oh, Haley loves me. Wow, cool. No, he still doesn't like me, even one heart. Hi, Alex. Hi, Shane, on your way to work. Poor oh, Shane, I feel sorry for Shane. I really do. I actually wonder if he'll have more dialogue options now I've actually got a heart's worth of um, friendship with him. Process geodes. Shame I only have one. Five stone? It's supposed to be a lucky day. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. How annoying. I think the fortune teller lied to me. But we'll go down the mines anyway. That's a waste of 25 gold. Oh, 
community centre. Oh, I'm going to pick up daffodils while I need my inventory space. Mm, actually, while we're here, we'll see if Robin's about... Because... Tell me how much to make a chicken coop. 4,000 gold, 100 stone, 300 wood. That's not too bad. That's no more than we had to do to fix that bridge. Let's see what else we can make. We can have a barn for 6,000 gold, 350 wood, and 150 stone. A well. A silo. Now someone said to me that I have to have one of these before I'm allowed to get my animals because this is their, where their food is stored. So if I don't get one of these first, then I'm going to end up with animals that I can't really feed very easily. So this is the thing to get, I think. So I need to get 100 stone, 10 clay and 5 copper bars. I think we have enough for the copper bars, honestly. But I think we might need a few more clay and a few more stone, possibly. I've been using an awful lot of stone for the paths around my place. But since we're going down the mines, we might uh, get quite a lot of that anyway. See how far we can get. With most of our energy left. Right, in we go. In the mines. And we'll probably do this just for the rest of the episode. Right, I'm going to see if we can get a bit further down. So if we just click on the elevator and go to 15. See if we can maybe get to 20. Fifteen looks quite dark. There's not an awful lot of stuff in here either. Ooh. Oh no, it was just stone. It looked like something cool, but... No, it was just boring old pesky stone. Oh, it's more of those grubs. the way down then. Using up all my energy and I won't find the way down. Come on. There it is. Oh, this has at least got some slightly better resources. That last level was rubbish. Yum, yum, yum. Stay away, fly. I'm near me at your peril. purpose of today is not to really collect things or kill things so much. Oh man, I've got a white algae and not a green one. That's annoying. It's more just to try and get to level 20. That is our goal for today. And collect lots of quartz. out so I'm club these wee beasties. Wee beastie. Ah. Okay. 
look, a geode, nice. I'm gonna have to break something, it may as well be copper. Oh, there's a digit. Oh, I see, that's what they turn into. Interesting to know. Whack a mole. Oh, he gave me a geode as well. So many geodes. I think. I was hoping that I'd get it by killing some of the monsters. No. Not wasting my pickaxe swings. I'm gonna eat my algae. Oh, I've got another dwarven scroll. That's pretty good. There's another doggy there. Unless I literally go to the next level and immediately find the exit, I am um, not going to be doing very well. Oh, at least I can get around that rock. Can I get around this rock? Oh, I am so lucky. I am the luckiest person alive. Clearly the luck spirits are with me today steel small sp ah small sword level 2 sword 4 to 8 damage and plus 2 speed ooh well I can throw away a slime gel for that but my level 2 club is like way better so how oh I see it's faster right okay I think I need to go to bed now, though. But yes, level 20 of the mines. Well done, us. We have got another little way towards getting to level 40. So if we go down there another four or five times, then uh, we should be good. But I think uh, tomorrow I'm going to need to work... Um, basically on getting a load of stone and wood so I think the basic plan is going to be just to clean up the farm a load and when we've done that and we've got enough um, stone and enough wood so I think it was 300 wood and 100 stone we needed for the chicken coop I can't remember for the silo but we'll, we'll just get a whole big bunch of stone and a whole big bunch of wood and we'll get those sorted out there's so much bug meat. I don't know if we can do anything with that. Dwarven scroll, geodes, copper, more earth crystals, loads of stuff. We do need to make a new chest, I think, as well. But anyway, I think with that, it, it is 8.40pm. So it is quite an early night for Shelab, but I think um, because we've got absolutely no energy left whatsoever, and even little keepers asleep, look. Sleepy keeper. So I think it's definitely time for us to wrap up the episode. So uh, if you liked the video, then please leave me a like in the box below. 
and if you would like to see more of what's coming up on my channel then please uh, do subscribe. I really hope to see you all in the next episode. Till then though, look after yourselves and keep being awesome.